Welcome, the second day of Buma Music meets Tech from the Eurosonic Norderslag uh, Festival. Two days of talks about music and technology and the impact of the two on uh, each other. Today a lot of uh, um, uh, startups will be pitching here later on uh, today. And um, we talk about members of the jury as well, and this is one member of the jury. Uh, hi, uh, who are you and what do you do? Hi, good morning. Uh, my name is Kirsten van Houten and I'm head of uh, digital and audiovisual. And uh, at Bumas Demra, and I'm responsible for licensing uh, all online services. Yeah, so when uh, a new Spotify starts uh, in the Netherlands, they come to you? Yes, yeah. 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 And, and we, we talk to them and we. Um, we try to figure out the best way to license them. Yeah. yeah. And is that uh, so? So that's one of the job. But so, and if I see, for example, and 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 if if a club plays records and has to pay to to the boomers, that your department? No, as that's well? not that. that no, that's, that's live. Yeah, no, that's a different department. Yeah. So it's everything that happens online. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, and when I look at uh, when we look at your uh, field of expertise, what are the most important things, uh, trends happening around there? What are the subjects that are most um, uh, most actual now? Well, f for me, when I look at a licensing perspective, it's always interesting what's next. I mean, we try to have our licenses in place, and once we do, something else will come up. And that's the most fun about my job, you know, yeah. always be a little step ahead. And, you know, and it's, it's always really fun to see people uh, with so much enthusiasm and thinking of new ways to, to make music available to the public. And, and that's really nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, um yeah, you say well, new new things uh, uh, come up, and we have to look at them. So, uh, uh, is is there a sort of a, a, a set of rules and prices, etc.? When a new uh, uh, so, so can I when I start something, can I go to your site now and see what it will cost for me to start using music? Yes, I mean for the, the basic stuff. Yes, of course we have uh, a, a set of, of tariffs. Yeah. But um, I also talk to a lot of startups, and when you talk to them, you, you realize, well, that the business model does not really reflect the tariffs that we have. And then we have to come up with something else, and, and you know, that's, that's what we try to do. And when I started the Boomer Stemmer, I think the atmosphere was really different. People were actually really scared of us, and we thought we were trying to kill business models just because we want a lot of money from them. Yeah. We still do want money, of course, don't yeah. get me wrong. We still want that. But um, I think it's much more an open discussion now, and we really try to think with our customers to, to find the most uh, yeah, the best solution there is. Yeah. And um, I remember last uh, two years ago, we spoke to uh, someone from, from Spotify. Uh, and, and, and he said, well, the, 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 a problem is if you want to start a service like uh, a Spotify or Deezer or whatever it is, and that's not uh, so much your, uh, 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 you're not the problem of that, but he yeah. said it, it, it takes two years to get all the legal stuff with yeah, all the companies. Absolutely. It, it's really a nightmare for people to start. And it, it has to do with all the repertoire that it's um, uh, at, at different places. When I started, it was in 2007, really a long time ago. Um, we still uh, had the entire repertoire, so we could license for the Netherlands for the entire repertoire, and that's it. And then they were set in, in you know, in the Netherlands, it could go live, and there was no problem. But right now, they have to talk to so many different publishers and and uh, other sister societies to to get the license. So that's it, really difficult. I mean, I wish the situation was different, but yeah. um, and we we always can try. It be, can it be different? Uh, well, no, I, I think, no, there's no way back anymore, I mean, no, yeah. the, and that also has to do with uh, European law and, and how things went from from, uh, from that, so, no, I don't think it's going to change, but we really try to, you know, help them, provide them with a, a correct information. Um, Actually, I, I can give them a license for the entire repertoire if they're just a local Dutch company uh, with no ambition to go abroad. But I mean, that's really a contradiction because you want them to go abroad. I mean, it would be lovely to, yeah. to have the next Spotify come from the Netherlands. I mean, that will be awesome. So we really try to help them. But it's a whole licensing issue. Yeah, that's really a problem. Yeah, yeah. especially I, for startups. You say I, I talk to a lot of startups. And uh, so, so uh, talking to them, do you, do you see... Uh, sort of trends or things happening? Are there more startups in, in, uh, in recommendation or in other fields? So what sort of things do you see happening there? 
Oh, well, yeah, well, um, there's a lot of things with life going on right now, live streaming uh, from from gigs, from DJs, live sets from DJs. I mean, that that's really um, a lot of, and it's funny because I think somebody has an idea and then all of a sudden more people have the same sort of same ideas. Yeah. yeah. I think I think Sphere, uh, Steel Smart Radio is really important, like curated radio. Um, yeah, that's that's what a yeah. lot of questions come from you know, at yeah. that area. Yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, you're a part of the jury, so you will be looking at 12, uh, startups yeah. with, with, with new ideas, new products, uh, new services. Uh, what do you look for in, uh, in, in, in the startups? What are the things you uh, will put uh, special um, uh, attention to? I will be really mean to say that I will only look if uh, I can license them. That's not the case, I will know. I mean, what I always really enjoy is the enthusiasm of people. And I think we're all in the same business, and let's try to make money. Uh, and um, so I will, I will look at that, and I will look um, if they can come up with solutions that are, you know, get us ready for the future. I think that's also really important. Yeah. So yeah, I'm curious. Yeah. Okay. Like to meet them. Yeah. Okay. So it's said that they will be uh, will be standing around yeah. somewhere in the building, yeah, so you can will. visit you can yeah. visit them uh, yeah. all. So okay, uh, good luck with that, and we will be seeing them here on this uh, this table, and we yeah. uh, later on today we will hear what you as a jury thought was, uh, was yeah. the best one. It's going to be tough, yeah. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for watching now, if you're watching live. Uh, and like, like I said, uh, the rest of the day will be mainly about uh, the startups and, uh, and, and their products, their services. Um, and if you watch this on demand, you will know that you uh, uh, can, can watch them all, because we will put them all on our uh, YouTube channel and on our fastmovingtargets.nl. Thank you.